Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Will, a.k.a. the greatest political mind the world will never know. I'm coming to you. I've been trying to figure out how I can talk about this. It's something very personal to me. I've had a chance to, like, I did a video before about Obama and the acceptance speech, but I want to, I've had a chance to pretty much reprocess it and think about it a little harder than I did when I did my first video. And I'm a little pissed off. I'm, I'm, I'm a little pissed off because after I thought about it, you know, and from the research I did, watching the videos I've watched um, from CNN to Fox News, um, looking at his legislative record from the Illinois Senate, and everything else, and just basically researching the man's life before I made my decision and I made any videos in opposition to the man, and I found out that tonight he pretty much over-exaggerated and sometimes outright lied about why he's a common man. And, you know, let me tell you something about Obama. He did not grow up so bad. I know what growing up poor is like. I'm from a very, very poor neighborhood in Northeast Ohio. I grew up in the projects. I grew up with a single mother who had to throw me and my brother under the bed because the drug dealers and the criminals and, the, and, the, and the, just the hoods outside were shooting and she was afraid that a stray bullet might take one of her children's or her own head off. I've had to go to school walking over the bodies of, not dead bodies, but the crackheads and the bums who are so drunk laying on the street like so many, trig, so many twigs or leaves that fell from, the, from a tree. I know what it's like to grow up poor. I know what it's like to see someone get shot and killed at the age of 12. I know what it's like to get off the bus from vacation Bible school and go home and walk past the police as they tape off a dead body. There, those are things that some that you should not see as a child, as an adolescent. Those are things that you should not have to witness. You know, when you talk about loss and pain and suffering, those are, not, should, those are things that you should not have to use for political gain, to make yourself the common man. Obama's grandmother, well, one, he was, he, okay, all you people, he did not grow up on the south side of Chicago. He didn't. He grew up in Hawaii. And then part of his life, he grew up in Indonesia. I don't know about you, but I don't know when the last time a dude from the hood went to Indonesia with his mama. Do you know Leroy, Lil Junebug, T-Bone, any of those dudes that went from the hood to Indonesia? I don't think so. I didn't think you did. He didn't. Come on, people. Wake up. His mom was not on assistance but for two weeks, while she was waiting on her student aid, the mother, his grandmother got him into Columbia University because she was a vice president of a bank, which means she had access. And his grades were maybe C plus, maybe. Not good enough to get into a, 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 the, one of the top schools in the country. Even his own biography autobiography admits that he wasn't a great student. So how the hell did he get into Columbia without some juice? See, we don't do our homework, we don't research, so we don't think. We get caught up in all the pomp and circumstance and all the soaring rhetoric of hope and change and we don't do our homework about somebody. This is a man who lost integrity tonight. Yes, you might have loved the speech and the pomp and the circumstance and the confetti, but the man tried to make himself one of us. And see, I have a problem with that. That's personal to me. I remember when I was in college seeing people 
who would have great parents. One guy had a doctor for a father, I mean, a, a, a surgical nurse for a mother and a chemist for a father, but he came to my school in order to get girls and make a new name for himself, he started selling drugs and trying to be a thug, wearing his pants, sagging boots, and going yo, 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 and knowing he didn't have a thug bone in him. I know a criminal. I know a thug when I see one. I grew up with him most of my life. I know when a mother struggles. We were on assistance, and it didn't take no two weeks for us to get off. But my mother worked her ass off to get us off that assistance. She got her degree. She got us up out of the projects. And she only moved us two blocks away into a house that wasn't that great. But it was still our house. And I remember the day we moved in and my mother was sitting there crying because she was so overwhelmed by the moment. You know, people... There's nothing wrong with having money. There's nothing wrong with having access. There's nothing wrong with somebody giving you a helping hand. And black people, you know you're a bunch of hypocrites. Because you are excusing Obama for not having experience. And also you other Obama Kool-Aid drinkers. But specifically black people, I want to talk to you because 90% of you are going to vote for him. You know you'll be the first one pissed off at your work after you don't work five, six, seven years and you go up for a supervisor's position, and then here comes some cute little rookie wearing a nice little skirt straight out of college with hardly any experience, but she knows how to play the game. She wears the short skirt. She knows how to rub the elbows with the old boys network, and she gets that job. Or that guy stressed straight out of college with no experience who might work six or seven months to a year who knows how to play golf better than you, and then he gets the position because he knew how to play the game. And you'll be the first one coming home to your family, calling your mother, your best friend, your girlfriend, and talking about, I just got passed over for a position for some fool who didn't have any experience. So why in the hell are you going to support somebody like a Barack Obama? I know McCain is a Republican. But Hillary wasn't. Hillary wasn't a Republican, but you allowed the press to tell you that her and her husband were a racist who's done more for you between 1992 and 2000 than Barack Obama has done his whole life. But you betrayed the Clintons and you moved on to Obama because he's a slick, empty suit who sounds like one of those preachers on Sunday morning telling you everything you want to hear but giving you nothing to move on. And you got caught up. I mean, he insults me. I mean, tonight, his speech insulted me. It took away, when I had a chance to think about it, all the historical significance. Because he blatantly lied. To get my vote. To get your vote. Don't be bamboozled. Don't be fooled. He is not the man he claims to be. And if you have any integrity, and if you love this country, like you say you do, the good, the bad, and the ugly, nobody says America's perfect, then you, you will not give the country over to another empty suit like we did with George W. Bush. We, you just won't do it. You see how George W. Bush, they said he didn't have any foreign policy, policy experience, and he picked Dick Cheney. Well, Dick Cheney picked him, but then he picked Dick Cheney. Emperor Cheney was his foreign policy experience, just like Joe Biden is Obama's foreign policy experience. Now, I'm not saying Obama is evil as Darth Bush and Emperor Cheney. I'm just saying it's pretty much the same thing. He doesn't have the experience. I mean, honestly, look how Bush screwed up Katrina, Iraq, how our relationship with Russia, how he let China take over the world. I mean, what else do you need to see to not let another idiot, empty suit, get into the White House? You may not like McCain. You may not like Republicans, but do not blame McCain for what Republicans, Newt Gingrich and the boys, and George W. Bush has done, because he is not one of them. I've been following John McCain's career, and he has never been your 
average Republican. Yes, last year he voted 95% of the time with George W. Bush, but Barack voted 82% of the time with George W. Bush. So does that make Obama Bush light? The third term of Bush? Come on, people, wake, the, wake up. It's your boy. Love your comments. Keep them coming. I'm out.